Okay, we're back. And I've decided that we're going to go into Swamp here. It should be fine. It's not, uh, not too much stuff in here that's really going to cause a problem. Um, I think last time I was talking about uh, I was talking about how the uh, wisps might be an issue since um, I can't fall clutch them presumably and I can't gravitas them presumably but I don't think it's going to be an issue I should have Malign Gateway before too long change my RC real fast. cool thing about being a mummy is that I can't be poisoned here, so I don't need to worry about that. You know what? I should wear, um, hmm. I probably should just wear a ring of ice here, but I'm not going to, and I have a good reason for it. Um, just, just in case, like a lindworm or something spawns and I ought to explore into it. Of course, that means I could take big damage from a bog body, but it's not terribly likely. Hello. That's interesting. Tentacled monstrosity. That's... Whoa, I auto-explored into that. I shouldn't have done that. I guess I thought there was a rune door, but there is not. So we're going to teleport. Hmm. How much damage can he do? It's quite a lot. Yeah, he can hit me for a ton of damage. Let's try this. Okay, cool. We got him. Mm. He escapes. We'll do butterflies. We'll just walk away. This is why you summon butterflies. What a great spell. Honestly, butterflies plus BVC. Man, look at how good that is. Like, Tentacle Monstrosity would be quite a fight for many other characters at this level at this point in the game. Um, but for this one, we just, we just take them out. How cool is that? Really easy. I should have done Butterflies to start with, by the way. Um, I should not have used BVC. That was a little bit of a dice roll, so I have to remember that for the future. Can't ball clutch him. Um, didn't uh, do butterflies there because you can move quite fast on the water anyway, so. Alright, can't BVC into deep water.
There we go. I'm running out of mana there is making me a little concerned. All this deep water here is making it a little bit annoying, but not, not too bad. This is interesting. Oh, he fired thorns at himself. Well, thank you, Rue. I'm stunned at how good BBC is. My only regret this game so far is that I sacrificed that I sacrificed conjurations. I should not have done that. That was 100% a misplay. And I only say that because you know if you're using BBC, you gotta you gotta train Earth anyway. So it's like a very natural transition into things like Iron Shot. For later in the game. I need to be more careful. I keep using BBC on deep water even though I know better. Just remember we have Rue abilities like Power Leap. That's one way to make some space. Like uh, I, another thing I've noticed on this character is BBC is so good I'm almost forgetting that I'm worshipping Rue. I haven't used Apocalypse at all. Well, all those corpses are gone, unfortunately. I was going to make some zombies to deal with this. I can't drain life from them, I can't BBC, I guess I have to power leap these guys to death. I really hate this enemy because it, 9 times out of 10 is not going to really do anything that's, you know, it can't really kill you. They only do what, like 12 damage? This is really not that much. There we go. Not too bad, just a little irritating is all. Swamp 3. This guy must have spawned on a, on a trap here because it hasn't gone off. Bring up two of these guys. That's not good. That's some damage. 30, you could do 45. Now remember, this character is still quite fragile. I 
Okay, we'll get the construct on him. Out of curiosity, I'd like to see um, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he cannot. He can't volley me. Man, this is awesome. It just trivializes everything. Not everything, but most things. Normally, thorn hunters, you see those, and it's just a big problem. All right, this gentleman here um, is going to... I'm going to want pro magic for him, so now he can't sleep me. Although, he, I guess he probably couldn't sleep me before since I'm undead. Uh, with that said, I, I still want to be sure. Get him in the zombie hands. Yeah, really, really straightforward. I like that. I like that a lot. Again, you know, Eisel would be a little bit of a problem for most characters at this point in the game. In fact, if I found Eisel on most characters at this point in the game, I'd probably leave. That's that's how big of a threat he is. Or I would have, you know, I would have used Apocalypse or something like that. That would have been a big, big resource usage type type situation, but. With this character, you know, I just kind of bowled him over. It was still somewhat scary, but not really. I mean, with the poison immunity, he's doing less damage to me, you know, with his main damage abilities. Let's get that rune. Pretty sure I'm immune to the, the spectral, spectral whatever since I'm, you know, I'm dead. be a little careful here. We are at the end of the branch, so could be some ugly stuff waiting for me. That vampiric touch is really doing it for me. It's good stuff. He's in deep water now. Maybe I can just pain him to death. It's not looking like it. Uh, I could pull him over here, I suppose. 
and then zombie hands him again. Well, that's one way to solve that problem. I like that. I should probably be swapping my RC at least when I see those bog bodies. That's just pure laziness is what I'm doing there. up the area a little bit. Wow. That guy's not wanting to die here. We've got this hatch here, though. So, I mean, if, if anything goes wrong, which it is, we're out of mana, so we just go down to a different staircase. Of course, we've woken up half the floor now, so that's no good. since we've auto-explored next to it. That's a berserker, isn't it? Yes, it is. Got to be careful not to get near him. It's cool. We got a Hydra zombie here now. Am I seeing this right? Yes, I did. Yes, I got him. I miscast. Whew. Big pile of things here. Let me take a step back. My Hydra Skeleton and my Zombie Skeleton take out the uh, regular Hydra. I'm going to take a step forward. I'm going to do that. I'm going to have my Hydras killed. Thorn Heart. Whoa! Volley of Thorns. Alright. I wasn't expecting that. I thought my Hydras would take care of them. Let's use Draw Out Power. And we'll get the Zombie Hands on those guys. And now we'll let the Hydra tank these hits for me. Nice. It's not so bad. Got a little drained, but you know what? That drain's all gone now. And we have a nice little horde of very powerful minions. Nothing better than a Hydra zombie, really. I mean, all those massive, massive attacks. Book of Ice. Simulacrum is in the cards. I probably should pick up Simulacrum. Even if I'm not worshipping Kiku, it can be okay. And it's not like I, uh, it's not like anything's stopping me from, oh, sorry about that. I nudged my mic. I'm sure that probably made a noise. Anyway, um, it's not like there's any reason for me not to train a little bit of ice. So I'll, yeah, 20 spell levels. Why not? Simulacrum. We can drop that book. Oh, we're out of mana. Guess I'll just let these hydras fight this stuff for me.
Really liking this wand change. It's very nice that it stacks better this time rather than before where it, you had to carry around multiples of the same kind of same kind of um, wand, which was kind of silly. Anyway, sorry, I was looking at this uh, trident, trying to evaluate if it's worth using. It is a pain trident, but I we're a little late in the game for me to be swapping to being like a partially melee guy. So even if it is pain, it's still just a trident. And um, I mean, I, I like those stats. I like the MP plus nine, but uh, you know what? I'm, I'm happier with the Staff of Death with the power enhancer, you know? Just, just better off for me. Plus we sacrificed armor anyway, so the chances of me wanting to go into being, you know, an armor guy or a, a fighter guy, it's just not, it's not happening. Hey, plus two block clear. Okay, um, that that's the end of Swamp. Pretty easy time. That means we can go straight into Snake Pit. We're almost there on Malign Gateway. Yeah, almost there. And my defenses are coming along nicely as well, so soon I'll be training summoning by itself. iron shot. Really need to solve this um, resistances situation. Looks like it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. I, what I want is just a regular ring of RF. Uh oh. smoke. The smoke keeps blocking line of sight, which cancels zombie hands. Alright. Trying to be a little careful around these vipers. They can drain my mana. That's not so great. Of course, constriction doesn't seem to stop them from shooting arrows, which, uh, it's not ideal. Wait, do I not have blink? Why did I think this character had blink? Yeah, I don't know why I thought this character had blink or passage or something. I guess Grell's Grill, ah, Gravitas and uh, Power Leap is going to have to be good enough. Gale's Gravitas is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, here we go. Let's do some of that. Slam them all into each other. Can't survive that. Swamp 2. Um, this is a lot of stuff. 
but I'm going to actually do this. Well, let's try to go up. Oh, we're being instructed. I'm an apocalypse. It may seem like, gee, why are you, uh, why are you doing that? That's like a waste of experience. Just um, humor me. I mean, being constricted like that, surrounded by all those things, not fun. I'm sure I can get my experience back. I can't get my life back if I die. This was just a bad staircase is what it was. Hmm. Let's go up. I'm gonna find a staircase that's less crappy. This is good. I like the fact that there's fire things in here because um, I'm walking around with RF plus, so that's a nice bonus. Okay, let's walk away from this thing. Get full health and then fight it. Book of burglary. Nice. That's huge. Whoa. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to memorize stuff while next to a mamba. Let's, uh, let's not do that. Could get LRD as well. Yeah, I'm going to memorize LRD. I can always just use some amnesia later if need be. But this means that if I go into, uh, if I find one of those stupid teleporter vaults, that means that I can uh, actually access it without risking my life. Um, let's double check real quick. Um, just checking what spell level, what power level I need to blow up stone. I'm just curious. Uh, six bars of power. Okay, so I need one more bar of power. So I would need to turn a little more earth. I suppose I could still go for Shatter if I wanted to. I don't really think that's going to happen, but it might. Who knows? not exactly the same as tabbing through everything, but still quite nice. Hey, here's a shop. We got Piercer. It's a little late for me to be learning a weapon, but I haven't yet, so I could. Piercer is a pretty sweet thing to have. Um, 
Did I sack a hand? Mm, I guess I did not sack a hand. Yeah. So I could use Piercer if I felt like it. Not just yet, um, but it is kind of like having a bolt spell. Of course, if I'm going bows, I didn't need to use spells at all, since as you've seen from my previous games, I can just, you know, bows. Bows just sort of win the game by themselves, so we'll uh, bypass this shop for now. We're almost... We're almost up to Milan Gateway, at which point, you know, we just win the game. I mean, we, we pretty much already won the game. It's just a matter of not not making a stupid decision, <laughs> you know, making a bad mistake. Ah, this is the Guardian Serpent Vault. I don't think they, they don't seem like they can teleport things to me when they're being constricted. Maybe yeah, that's just good luck, I suppose. But they're not choosing to do it, at least. That's interesting. Could they one-shot me? I suppose they probably could if they all hit me for damage at the same time, for good damage. Maybe not now, especially with the stuff in the way. Okay, this guy doesn't have a ranged weapon. Okay. Okay, that's Nicola. Um, we don't want to be on the same screen as Nicola. No, we do not. No wizardry. I was going to just use my line gateway. Um, uh, Pog. Nope, that's, that's not going to do. We have to use scroll of blinking. And we have to just walk on out of here. I'm gonna wait until I see him. Well, no, I can't use that pog either because that'll... Crap, that's gonna put me... Yeah, I just did a really silly thing here. Okay, two blinking. <laughs> That's not what I should have done. That was a very obvious misuse of Pog, is what that was. Alright, um, with that knowledge that Nicola is there, he can do an insane amount of damage to me because I don't have Arlek. Even if I had Arlek, he could do a ton. Um, I'm in no rush to get snakes done, so... I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go right back to lair. I'm gonna go back to dungeon. Um, geez, I I may do swamp or not swamp slime. Well, no, I can't do that. I don't have my line gateway online yet, and uh, BVC doesn't work against that stuff. So I suppose we're going into vaults. Ooh, some potions. Can't use those. Requirement. That's good to see. Hold off on that for a second and enchant up this... Well, shouldn't enchant anything until I decide what I'm going to do with this requirement. Um, hmm. Tempted to say jewelry, maybe? Uh, we need armor, though. Let's, let's get armor. Boots of the Assassin? That's wild. Not really something we care too much about on this character, but we can stab with any weapon now. <laughs> I mean, there's that. I mean, the biggest thing is uh, monster detection. That's actually pretty cool.
get some intelligence here. Only a one percent chance to to get constrict or uh, to get vault warden there or vault uh, vault sentinel. You know the um, actually I don't know what that ability is called. Sentinel's mark, yeah. So it's not bad. We use LRD here. This is cool. It doesn't matter if he's invisible. I don't have to swap or anything like that. Because the boots tell me exactly which square he's in. Odd that it didn't die to the uh, to the uh, LRD as quickly as I was expecting. Took like four shots of that. What in the hell? Oh, it's an entropy weaver. It's a really weird tile. Strange. Oof, what a nasty. That's that's dangerous. Very surprising. Definitely a definitely a different tile than I'm used to. You know, it's um, with the wizards, you know, like the deep elf wizards and deep elf mages, deep elf uh, sorcerers, demonologists. There's you know, it's pretty obvious what it is. Um, it's different, but still recognizable, but that Entropy Weaver was just very, very different. I am a little bit like a crotchety old man with these new tiles, like, uh, I'm not a big fan of the changes, not because I dislike the tiles, because I don't. I think the tiles are actually really cool and really well done. Um, but it means that my threat recognition is kind of crappy now. Like uh, before, if I'm trying to play quickly, I'd see stuff like that, and I'd immediately know what I'm dealing with, and I'd immediately react in the proper way. Uh, now I'm not so used to it. So I bet you, if I tried to speed run right now, there'd be a pretty significant chance. Um, that I might die to something like that just on account of reacting wrong. Particularly an elf. Like, I'd probably have to, if I, if I was going to do elf, which you usually don't do on a speed run, but if I was, um, I don't know. I feel like I'd have to slow it up. This is not really a problem here. Played ghost. Can't flay me. Just gonna melee him, I suppose. There we go. Got another shop here. Thin folio. We could get some in forest. But we've already got. Eldritch Tentacle basically online, so I don't think that'll be necessary. Um, I do have the spell levels for it. Let's let's drop this um, Book of Beasts. Well, we'll buy Scroll of Teleportation. That's an easy easy pickup. Um, hmm. Yeah, why not? Why not? We'll just. I mean, that's that's a nice summon we can use to deal with stuff that's immune. Let's 
to the shenanigans that we're currently pulling. And it just puts some more nastiness in between me and the and the enemy. Although it does make deep water, which stops the BVC from working, so I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. thing doesn't want to die. Jeez. Now we've uh, mastered up to 13th level the uh, summonings, so maybe I should just train both at the same time? Translocations and summonings until I get Malign Gateway to an acceptable level. I don't really have a long term plan with this character. Other than to, you know, get Malign Gateway online. And then maybe, maybe, maybe go for Shatter if it shows up. But that's. That's just icing. That's that's like the cherry on top. That's the icing on the cake. I don't I don't need shatter. That would just be for fun. What would be really good is infestation. That I would really like. Well, there's a manual of bows. Um there's shatter if I want it. Hundred percent fail rate right, right now, of course. Can't get iron shot. Um book of power, can't use any of these spells, conjurations that we've we've sacrificed. Could pick up Wait, I was going to say Dia Missile, but I guess that's not in Book of Air. Yeah, I think that we pretty much have everything out of these books that we would want, except for possibly Shatter. I could get Blink out of, well, not Party Tricks. Never mind. Maybe Invisibility. Well, no, we, we sacrificed Texas, so I can't do that. Apportation, I suppose. I'm just going to consider this for the future. I mean, I may even go bows, as crazy as that sounds. zombie hands can affect things that are invisible. I'm starting to starting to get a little dubious on this point. with a cheaper book. Now we have D-Missile out of the Book of the Sky. Of course, 100% fail rate because we don't have charms or air, but you know, come to think of it, I think I sacrificed air too, so kind of SOL there. Hmm. Book of Death. That's um, a really good book. Book of Death, I can get Dispel Undead, and that would make Crips pretty straightforward. Agony would be kind of nice to have at this point. Not as good as, as earlier in the game, but still quite good. No Bolt of Draining for me, unfortunately. Uh, 
I don't think I can sublimate. Corpse around might be kind of fun. Uh, probably not so much at this point, but still good. Would have liked to have found that earlier. Yeah, I sacrificed air. I'd like to have a death, death channel. Well, it's not in that book, and it doesn't matter anyway because I can't afford it yet. Sixteen percent line gateway. We're getting there. Give it time. Kind of strange, no cloaks yet, but. Up. Wow, he doesn't want to get zombie handed. Yeah, corpse heart would actually be pretty nice in this particular spot and spots like it. I could force things to just stand still on top of the corpse rot. Just a convenience thing, really. I mean, with BBC alone, we can kill all this stuff. I mean, look at this. It's just, it's just nice. It's fun. Fun and easy. Actually, maybe I should cast Gil's Gravitas first, and gather them up like that, and then BBC on top of it. That could be fun. Whoops, it would help if I did it in the right spot. Let's get on out of here. Whoa, 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 moving too fast. All right, couldn't have died there, but, whew. Okay, large rocks can do 20, he can do 45, that makes 65 max damage. Um, geez, it's bad. I'm gonna do a forest. Very good, he throws the rock, it doesn't hit me, I like that. Get this simulacrum in the zombie hands, we'll get him in the zombie hands. He throws another rock, it misses my dryad, and I block it. It's fine, I can't die. He can't one-shot me or anything. But I gotta be more careful about that. I need to make a habit of pressing shift when I move. Um, in fact, what I'd like to figure out, I'm sure there's an RC setting for this, and I'm gonna make a note to ask about this. I wanna ask someone, or perhaps just spend some time looking up in the manual, uh, is it possible to have shift moves on as the default? That is to say, instead of having to use shift and then move so that, uh, you know, when I, when I move there's a monster uh, and my guy won't move, but I have to hold shift to get that behavior. Instead of that, what I want is um, that's just on all the time and I have to press I have to press shift if I want to move when a monster's around. And I don't think there's such a setting, but there should be. Now this is what I want to have that, um, this is what I want to have the spell in dead for. 
check, check this out. Boom, pull them back to the trees. Hmm. Well, that is an interesting amulet. Not real hot about that spirit. Um, the Hadagar like would be nice. That ring is outrageously good. Really, really insane. Int plus seven. MR plus, RC plus, we'll probably be using that. Geez, a lot of good stuff I want to buy. Probably going to acquire gold next time. Now that RLEC opens up Snake to me again. I could wear it for that. But I think I'm just going to be happy to avoid Snake until I can afford both. So let's get this ring. Let's wear this ring. We'll remove magical power. We have a little less mana now, but it's not a big deal. I can probably drop pro magic, and I can drop ice. Because so now we have RF plus, RC plus. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, and I imagine my spell power is up across the board on account of that extra intelligence. can be constricted, so that's cool. Okay, he got paralyzed. has been mited, which is not so good for me. It's okay, though. I love that they're all bunched up like this. It's something you don't really notice, I think, as much when you're not using BVC. But monsters really do start out in a nice little clump at least half the time. Okay, this is terrifying. Um, really, really, really bad. Tempted to use Malign Gateway because I'd rather be in the Abyss than dealing with this. So let's do it. Okay. Let's make a forest. He can do so much damage to me. I'm going to take a step. Uh, I'm going to make a passage because that's going to save me. Whoa, he's got so much Speed. Oh, thanks, Snaplasher Vine. Cool. All right, I'm not playing this game anymore because he can, he can do 20 and then 30, so 50, and then plus the Scourge, which makes all of that get multiplied as a multiplier. So forget that. Um, I'll be happy to blow a scroll blinking here. It's fine. Let's, um, geez. Let's make a bunch of butterflies. Let's make a passage over here so I can jump around. And let's just watch these. This should kill him right here. It's fine. I've got I've got pogs to get away, so I can still teleport out of here if need be. Doesn't matter that I'm in the silence. He should die to this though. Unless he kills the tentacle, he should just get wrecked. He's actually killing the tentacle. Oh my god, he killed it. Alright, so that's fine. Let's make another malign gateway and make another pog. Alright. This is fine. Again, a lot of pogs going on here. I can't make another forest yet. Um, tempted to do scroll of summoning but that'll probably use up this pog next to me and that could put me in trouble so let me think about this I should be able to pull him back well that didn't work I'm just gonna wait I go into the pog oh very good you feel a bit more experienced, he's dead. Sweet. That 
That could have been quite nasty. Um, thankfully, it was not so bad. This hunting sling with RF plus and RC plus. That's something I like to see. Um. Hmm. It's, I mean, it's going to take away a spell enhancer just on necromancy spells. But it's also going to allow me to take off my ring of fire. And if I look for rings, I can see a number of them that I kind of like to be using. Um, well, Nothing that really jumps out at me too much. Maybe just magical power. Plus five ring of evasion. Uh, I'd have to think about it. of my dryad stays alive these guys should get killed pretty fast I'm trying to make sure my dryad doesn't hang out inside the gravitas range while I'm doing this Happy to let happy to let the forest kill the stuff for me. in the immediate area, so could have been more stuff coming, plus I just didn't want to fight him just yet. Okay, this guy could do a pretty solid amount of damage, so let's stay away from him. Level 19. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh man, I should have, should have seen that coming, <laughs> doing that much damage to me. scroll blinking but I keep making these mistakes remember he can do 65 damage so he can actually one shot me right now fine I'll make that I was about to say I'll drink a healing potion that's not an option um, probably should have just apocalypsed there but it's not exactly guaranteed so Wow, I could have died there if the dryad hadn't uh, that had missed the dryad. Okay, this is pretty safe. We'll let the we'll let that thing do the work. There we go. 
All right, problem solved. What does he do? Iron shots, bolts of coal, just, just damage basically. We're finally at the place where, I mean, it's still red, so technically I can get a bist here, but I can, I can pretty much spam it. Um, probably not that great of an idea to spam it like that, but my god. Two, two, I auto export into two and they both shot at me. Wow. Technically, I think I could have gotten one shot of there because both of them were there and for some reason I thought that wasn't possible. Because 65 plus 65 is 130. as well. Drain some life out of this one. There we go. staircases are all together. That's unfortunate. Not really much of a safe zone if, uh, if they can just trap you in this room. I like to think of staircases as a good place to retreat to, but when you get the, the unlucky three staircases in the same spot vault, which, um, I mean, frankly, I wish it didn't exist. Sort of takes away the the main method by which you uh, make progress in this game safely. Of course, it's uh, pretty rare, which is blessing. skills that are an artifact that's worth checking out. Probably, almost definitely not going to use them, but then again, we have Boots of the Assassins, so maybe very unlikely though. Away from this, 
give me a chance to get my mana back. Oh, I get this miscast. That's cool. I'm gonna make a malign gate bay real quick. We'll cut this video as soon as I do Vaults 4, probably. I don't see this character going into Vaults 5 just yet. Still fairly fragile. That's a lot of lightning this guy's spitting at me. Um, few wardens here. Unfortunately for them, uh, Kel's Gravitas is actually quite good at higher spell level, spell power. A little surprising that uh, necromancers don't have to spell undead. Not that I'm complaining. I don't want to fight Marjorie and her host um, in conditions like that. see that Gil's Gravitas does not affect me, so that's cool. I didn't actually know that. That uh, ochre mage that was just there was like a tiling error. Nothing to be concerned about. Mm. 
So this is the kind of stuff you got to be concerned about here. 65 damage maximum, and then with RC+, plus, this is like, uh, I don't know, like 30, 35 damage maximum. So technically, technically I'm in one-shot territory right now from these guys. And that's the kind of thing you have to watch out for, even though it doesn't seem like I should be one-shotted here. Technically possible. 3D 24, 24, 48, um, 60, 70, 72. 72 divided by 2, so he could do 31 damage to me, plus 65 is, is uh, 90, 96, 96. So I guess, no, I'm not in one-shot territory, but close. Close enough. Not sure if he can breathe on me while constricted, but probably. The moral of the story is it's very easy to die in this game simply by not realizing that you can die. And the only way to live is to never let yourself get in those situations because otherwise you're just you're playing uh, chicken with the RNG essentially. And eventually, the uh, RNG is gonna is gonna win. Let's fog out of here. So you know, it, it seems very tedious, but that's the way it is. You have to do these constant fight resets. I should be using Animate Dead more, by the way. shop. Um, nothing I'm terribly interested in, except for that Scarf of Resistance. Wow. What a great find. I think I'll wear this Ring of Protection instead of the Ring of Fire. Now we have RC++ and RF+. I'd rather it was the other way around, but can't win everything. Now we have AC that's slightly less crappy. I'm tempted to just wear this Ring of... Yeah, I think I'm going to wear the Ring of r -Core and RC... Or excuse me, r -Core and Dex plus 6. I really like a ring with our elect on it, but it doesn't look like that's happening anytime soon. Time for me to pog on out of here. We'll let the uh, tentacle kill everything. And a 4% malign gateway fail, I like that. Take both of these to 16. That'll be good enough for me.
Hopefully I'll find... Oh my god, I found disjunction. That's so cool. I was just thinking about, you know, wouldn't it be nice if I found disjunction? And there it is. So we'll be using disjunction later in Zot. Great find. So now I know what I'm training for the next long while. Alright, that's okay if, he, if she uses fire on me. Because I'll just walk away from it. it this way. I got that miscast on the line gateway. It always seems to want to miscast right as I'm running away from things. Oh, that is new. Check that out. You close the door pushing everything out of the way. That's interesting. I did not know that that existed. It's definitely a new change in 0.21. All right, we're going to let Gil's Gravitas problem. Oh, this is, this is a fun one. We'll just Gale's Gravitas all this stuff to death. And zombie hands. I'll just pull this stuff back and... Well... I could have sworn that this layout would allow for at least a malign tentacle in the center, but apparently not. getting a little over the hour that I like to a lot for these videos, but whoa, that's a little little elf town here. Um, let's get him in there. Give me uh, zombie hands, and then we'll Gels Gravitas, and it should kill most of them. They don't have much in the way of hit points. Just remember, I'm risking 120 damage at any time, because that guy's hasted. Oh, here we go. Um, transmutations? Nope. Translocations. Let's train translocations until uh, until this junction is available, I suppose. There's acquirement. Let me see if I can do this. All right, that that's a bug. Um, I should be able to pull him into Pog, and he goes into the portal. Good, good that I know that now. But I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask a dev about that, and we're gonna see, because that looks like a bug to me.
Okay, so that's Vault 4. Let's check out the staff. Staff of Air. Well, that means I can have Aurelac if I want it. Which means I can fight Nicola. As long as I keep him as far away from me as possible. Um, gosh, we're already over. We're already over on time. Where am I on Swamps? Swamps 2. Eh, I'll finish it up next time. We're already over. But anyway, um, or did I say Swamp? I meant to say Snake, obviously. But anyway, um, so next time we'll finish this up. I'm going to ask the devs and see about that Gels Gravitas into Pog question because if anything, I would assume that would be one of the coolest use cases of it. Before I save and quit, though, um, I said I was going to acquire gold because there's quite a lot of things I'm looking at here. Um, do I actually want to do that? Yeah, I suppose I do. <sighs> really? 330 gold. That's almost exactly what I already had. Um, it's a rather small acquirement. I think it's below average. That's okay, though. Um, every little bit helps. So, all right, we'll stop here. Next time I'll kill Nicola while wearing the Staff of Air so he can't just do 200 damage to me. Um, and it should be pretty straightforward. Until next time, I'm signing out.